Do you know what anthropology is? <laughs> Riley. Hey, Riley. That's it. <laughs> Good girl. Welcome to Professor in Progress. My name's Dane. In this show, we're going to follow my project over time, see how it unfolds, and show you a bit of the practical side of what a PhD in anthropology involves. Uh, before we get to my project, um, it's probably best we clear up what exactly anthropology is. Um, since it happens to be open day at ANU today, uh, I thought we'd go and ask some people what they think it is. Is this a shoes off kind of deal going in? Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, cop. Soy ma, cop. Tamirio, cop. Okay, cop. Go, go, cop. Rock Pad Thai, I love you, I like it. Rock Pad Thai, huh? Not to say, I can't get a Thai. Try Kian Cup? Not to say, I can't get a Thai. Oh, Rika. I can't get a Thai. 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 I can't ผมทำยังไงเมมบรีนยาเอกครับแต่แต่อยากอยากถามคนอ่ะโอ้คิดว่ายังไงคิดมนุษยวิทยาเป็นยังไงครับอยากบอกครับอาจารย์คิดโอเคครับเด็กๆที่สวยๆเนี่ยเอาคนสวยๆอ่ะครับครับเอาคนสวยๆสิเอาคนสวยๆ Is it the study of humans? Uh, the way that we live? The way that we've developed? Oh Please don't ask me about anthropology. <laughs> Anthropology is about the diversity of uh, cultures, similarity and difference, and how we're going to understand it. It's a very good basis for a liberal arts education. It makes one a sort of global citizen, respectful of other cultures, interested in change and development, which is affecting all people's lives, and trying to increase people's tolerance and understanding interculturally. Campus is really big. I've literally never been here before. Kind of lost. I'm going to crash an actual anthropology event now. Hey guys. Hey, how's it going? So, what sort of things do anthropologists study? Humans. Yeah. Human condition. People. People. Yeah. Uh, so, our cognate and sister disciplines like psychology, sociology, uh, political science also study people. But what's really unique about anthropology is our approach. Anthropology is characterized by the long-term and intimate study of a small section of the population, uh, what we call ethnographic fieldwork. And this gives us unique insights into how people navigate their cultural matrix on a daily basis, 
what sort of habits, ideas, norms, expectations, community dynamics grip our lives at home and around the world. You know, I was pleasantly surprised by how many people I spoke to today who knew about anthropology. Often people are just familiar with these guys, and they do some pretty cool stuff, but they're not really the most accurate representation of what ordinary anthropologists do. I'm not going to fully answer that right now. When people ask me what anthropology is, my go-to is usually something along the lines of, we study cultures and stuff. Which is a pretty bad answer, really, um, but it moves the conversation along quickly, so... If I want to make it a tad more complex, I'll say something like just learning how to learn about other cultures. Learning how to make sense of how people interpret the world around them and how they engage with it. And with each other, of course. And beyond that, we do away with that messy old word culture altogether and make you sit through a big lecture that you kind of need to already be invested in to get through. Now besides just flagging the fact that culture as an academic concept is far more complex than how most people use the word, I'm not going to give you that big lecture on this channel. My hope is that by watching me work through the complexities of my own project in the field, in easy to digest 10 minute packages set to happy-go-lucky vlogging music, I'll be able to get some of that high level stuff to become relatively self-evident. So I hope you enjoyed seeing a bit of the campus today as well. It was sunny for once, which is a nice change. If you would like to see more about the history of the discipline and that sort of stuff, I highly recommend you go and check out Arcuosu Productions. Just click up here, I'll take you to their Anthropology Explainer, um, which is short, snappy, but conveys a lot of really good information at the same time. I didn't waste time fumbling through a conversation in Thai in their video. That's all for me for now, so please click subscribe, and next time I'm going to explain what my planned fieldwork in Thailand is all about.